Hey everybody, it's CJ from iDesign.com and today we're going to be talking about the draw options on uh, the materials, uh, the sketch materials in Sketch and Tune. Uh, so in your material options for your sketch material there is an animate option that you can actually go in and animate on all of your strokes to all of the objects in your scene. So what I'm going to be demoing is a little bit of what you can see here uh, in my little tumbler here is an animation I just completed that has all these objects and all the strokes kind of animate on and they're offset a little bit and you can see that some of the strokes kind of finish later than others and uh, that's what we're going to be going for is how to offset your stroke it, all of your strokes on all of your objects kind of uh, animating on uh, randomly and adds a little bit more visual interest to uh, your scene. Uh, so let's just get started and jump into the project. So here we go, we got our scene all set up here and what we're going to do is I have all these objects with sketch and tune strokes on them and what I want to do is animate them all on. And I want to animate them on in a way where it's a little bit random and staggered, not so uniform. And the immediate thing that would probably come to mind is you have all of these sketch materials and you can animate each of these strokes to draw on uh, and you can set them up to... Uh, to be able to be uh, keyframed by completion. So what the easiest way to do this, but it's also one of the most hard ways or most lib laborious ways, is to just create a bunch of these sketch materials, all with different completion, uh, percentage, animation, uh, kind of offset in your timeline, and then just kind of stagger them that way as you would just staggering keyframes. And that's kind of like the way you would do it uh, just manually. Uh, to, to get all your strokes offset like that. But I, I wanted to come up with a way that you could just kind of choose an option and just say, I want it to draw on this speed and then just be able to set no keyframes at all and have everything kind of random randomly uh, draw on. And the way I actually, I, I did a lot of testing with this. Uh, and here's my actual animation here uh, from the get-go. So everything's kind of animating on and you can see that in your draw your animate options here we have uh, just the draw mode and that's basically what you're gonna wanna go to nine times out of ten or actually ten out of ten I don't know if you really ever need to go with any of these other uh, modes here but then you have all these stroke orders and stroke order doesn't really offset object strokes it just kind of uh, tells the order of each individual object where that stroke is going to start from. So kind of like in After Effects where you have a mask path and you can set which point on your mask path that you want your stroke to start from. So basically the same thing. So you have all these different options here and you even have a, a stroke order random where you can actually randomize your stroke order and that's kind of a fun one. Or if you want a little bit more predictable uh, of where your stroke order comes from you can choose one of these and it's very predictable that you know all right my strokes are going to start from the top of the object to the bottom or bottom to the top left to right all that good stuff so uh, we also have this method here where you have all strokes that would go on at the same time or you can actually control single strokes and that's usually what you're going to want to do if you want to offset individual strokes you want to actually be controlling single strokes here so then you have all of these draw speed options as well. And we have uh, pixel, stroke time, completion, total time, end frame, and animation end. Uh, completion, just very simple. You can just keyframe a uh, value here, a percentage, and that's the percentage that it would be drawn on, and that's for all of your strokes. So you're at zero key at the keyframe zero percent, everything would be written off and this is actually just a separate object with a separate uh, sketch that's not actually controlling that one but all of the black stroked objects that we're, that's what we're looking at here so zero percent and then we can go up to 100 percent and that's 100 percent completion on all of our strokes but the problem with this completion percentage is yeah it's nice to be able to kind of hand keyframe and adjust the curves on everything but 50% is 50% completion on all of these objects. So all of these objects are going to start and end at the same time. All their strokes are going to draw on and start and end at the same time. So that's not really going to offset it for you. Uh, you also have total time, which is just the total time of the length. And this is basically like a completion 
only you don't have to keyframe that completion. It's just all automatic. You set the start and the end time, no keyframes involved at all. Uh, so I wanted to figure out a way that you can do this kind of no keyframe method to uh, have all your objects animate on and not have to mess with a whole crap ton of uh, keyframes there. So the one thing that I did realize is you could do is all these go by just stroke time for all of your objects all at once. And there's really no option aside from this one, this pixels right here, that can actually allow you to have the smaller segments finish first and then the longer segments kind of take longer. So you have a constant speed set for everything. But once an, uh, a shorter segment here is complete, that's done and it moves on to the next thing. It doesn't move on to the next stroke, but it continues drawing on these other strokes. So what I'm going to do is you can see that with this draw speed set to pixels, you can actually choose a speed here and a start uh, frame. So what you can do is offset when you want this to start. And then what's going to happen is like you're going to have <laughs> basically every... Um, object stroke is it's like a racehorse you know where everything kind of goes around and this is the speed that those little horsies are going along the uh, outline of your object uh, so the thing is is that it's gonna if everything's going the same speed it's gonna finish this smaller stroke fast but then these other these bigger objects are still going to be going because it has a longer distance to go to complete that object. So that's how you actually get your offset. Uh, so let me actually show this in practice. So I, I rendered out a bunch of sample uh, animations here. Uh, and here is where I used uh, stroke time, which is just start, starting a set uh, time or start time. And then how much time does it take for all those strokes to kind of finish? Uh, so this is what that looks like. And you can see that everything starts and ends at the same time. So even the bigger uh, objects and the smaller objects all kind of end at the same time. And it's kind of boring. Uh, so next we have uh, just this completion, which you can actually keyframe. So completion is nice because you can actually adjust your curves on how these things animate on and off. But again, everything starts and ends at the same time. So also kind of uh, not very visually interesting, but you do have a lot of stuff going on. So it's all, all your preference. So that's an easy way to kind of animate everything on all at once. And then for total time, it's kind of like completion, only you don't have to set any keyframes again. Uh, and it's just start and then how much time that takes to uh, finish and again all these strokes kind of start and end at the same time uh, not very interesting uh, and then we have uh, another thing that's important with the whole drawing strokes on is where your starting point is uh, because you can actually set uh, like what angle you know do you want it in uh, on the uh, so this the, what it's set right now is the start and, and it's judging and it's starting by the angle on an object. So it's going to be 45 degrees. So all of the strokes are going to start up in the top right because that's 45 degree angle. And we also have all these other uh, settings here. So you can actually uh, do it random. So you can just randomly choose uh, which, which position your stroke starts on all of your objects. You can do it from mesh, which actually just picks a uh, the number uh, uh, it starts with the lowest index number in your object. So whatever is zero is the zero point on your mesh. That's where it will start from on each of your objects. And then you have, uh, you know, left, right, top, bottom, uh, and all this stuff that that just kind of like, you can definitely predict where exactly your stroke is going to start on each object. So random is nice, but I've found that with certain, if you have a lot of objects animating, uh, and actually, I think this is the one that I did. We have a little bit of glitchiness going on because of the, just the random calculation on where Sketch and Tune is kind of randomly beginning all of your uh, strokes on your objects. So uh, let's go back to... So the whole, the whole point of this is trying to figure out how we can get 
all these objects to kind of have a little bit of offset animation. And the one that I found works best is this pixels, because again, you can just set a speed and then that is indeterminate of the length of all of your uh, strokes. So if it's a, st a shorter stroke, those will be finished faster because those pixels that are drawing on in that speed will finish that stroke first. So you can see all of my little wavy lines here for the coffee steam. Those are already done, uh, and as well as my little Wacom pen and my little cube and boxes here in my little uh, monitor interface here. But you can see that the longer strokes here uh, are taking a little bit longer to finish because they're bigger and that stroke is going at the same speed so it's just the the longer you, or the bigger your object is the longer it's going to take for that little stroked object to complete uh, because this because of the uh, draw speed going by just how many pixels it has to actually fill in and and stroke along an object so you can see that uh, this is with random start position uh, with the pixel set to uh, a random stroke order. So you can see that it's randomly just choosing where this, uh, where the stroke starts from. And then we also have <clears throat> this object. So you can choose strokes. You can start from objects. So that's why I chose, and you can determine an angle. So angle's 45 degrees. So it's always gonna be in the top right is where the starting position is. Uh, and then it's also going to go from uh, short to long. So the shorter uh, strokes are going to start and then it's going to finish on all the longer strokes on that uh, individual object. And you can see that we have a, a little bit of a difference between the random and the pixel uh, as far as which strokes are being drawn and which direction the strokes are going. Uh, and then I also have this other one that is uh, set to object with uh, draw speed set to pixels and then from uh, the stroke order from right to left. And you can see that uh, with this one, this short to long, we still have a little bit of, uh, of little glitchiness going on there. And we actually get rid of that with the uh, right to left. And that is because we're we're kind of uh, determining where we have the issues and the glitch, and that's because this object's moving fairly fast. Uh, so we, you know, messing around with the different uh, stroke orders, you can have the strokes that maybe are the problem strokes animating on later and avoiding that little overlapping issue. So that's basically it, is that if you want to offset strokes, yeah, you can always duplicate your your main object and go to completion and just keyframe a bunch of these materials and just do it manually manually like that as you would in After Effects with uh, you know 3D stroke or something and you just have multiple uh, objects that you just apply different materials to or different stroke effects to and then just offset all those keyframes or if you don't want to mess with all those keyframes and uh, making multiple uh, uh, sketch materials you can go this pixel route and have a little bit of offset that way because it is just determined by the speed of how fast these pick these strokes are being drawn and uh, so all the smaller strokes will be finished first and the longer ones will be finished last as you can see this uh, little tabletop is gonna be the last thing to finish but it adds enough little animation offset to keep everything looking interesting and since the way the pixels uh, speed works is you just choose the start frame and the speed and there's no keyframes involved so that's kind of a really fun thing there is you don't have to deal with all those keyframes uh, as you would if you wanted full control over everything and applying different uh, stroke completion keyframes to uh, different sketch materials to all of your objects. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, hit me in the comments. I'd be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.